congrats you for graduating college. No problem. So what was most of your inspiration behind today's show? Um, honestly, a large part of my work is influenced by women and spirituality, so a lot of the work presented is basically about your personal journey and how you define God for yourself. So for me, like, God and the universe are representative of the same thing. It's everything that we're a part of and everything that's a part of us. So just kind of building on that idea and presenting it visually. So, so I love the whole, like, women, spirituality concept. I know a couple of people, they said their favorite piece of yours was the Madonna piece. Yeah, so what inspired that piece? Um, so I actually did a whole exhibit called Madonna that was actually a photo series about two young people that explore some of the systems in American society that define us, or at least try to define us. So those systems were religion, education, and uh, the financial system, and basically just kind of deciding, like, do I agree with this, do I not, and like, what are some of the problems with it that should be fixed? So it was called Madonna because the main character is a young girl that's kind of opening the eyes to a younger boy named Kiddo, so kind of that Madonna and child aspect, and so I wanted to visually represent that with a sculpture that referenced Madonna, Jesus' mother. So. so just let us know, spill the tea a little bit about what all you do just like aesthetically. All right, cool. Well, I am a visual artist first as well as an art director, a set designer, and image consultant. So basically, um, for my own personal art, I paint, I draw, I do photography, and art direction plays a part in that. But for other people, I basically just listen to them and think, like, what is your brand? What do you, how do you want to present yourself? And kind of take that and say, how can I take that and represent it visually, so that's what I do and who I am. We could have melted by the sunrise instead of the fire. It's the industries here. We're live in Atlanta at Piero's first solo art exhibit right after she graduated college, okay? So I got a good homie of hers, Mr. Rob Olu. Yes, okay, all right. So where can we find you first and foremost on social media? At one R O B O L U. Okay, dope, dope, dope. How long have you known Pierre and how long have you been supporting her work? I feel like I've known Pierre since 2014 and we've just been supporting each other ever since, really, to be honest. And I hit her up on a DM. Uh, we, she was actually doing music when I first met her and then she kind of like switched over to like the art very heavy. So then like I've just been supporting her since. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay, so I just learned something new. I didn't know she used to do music. That's so cool. Uh, yeah, she, she just well rounded in the art. That's so dope. She dropped one, she dropped one like tape and like it was going crazy. I was fucking with it a lot. And uh, I don't know, after that she kind of just switched over to like photography and like uh, art just heavy and she just went up with that instead, you know what I mean? Yeah, I dig it, I dig it. She did, went over to more of the visual arts, more of her passion. Um, were you inspired or have any of her pieces stood out to you? Um, I know the thug piece st stood out to me and I know the uh, the knife piece for 21 stood out to me a lot. And then just a lot of her like um, black and white. All right, so we got Artless Brandon. This is the man that has helped her put together her show, okay? So I know this is a new gallery that you're looking to open up and, you know, bring more light to creatives, especially like visual artists. So any particular reason you chose Piera? Um, yeah, so I mean, so my name is Artless Brandon, what's up? And uh, we chose Piera because like we simply sat down, we asked the community who they thought deserved a platform and a chance, and it was overwhelming the response, like, hook Piera up, so that's exactly what we did. Dope, dope. Is there any pieces in particular that you're really inspired by of hers? Um, one of, actually, like, her self-portrait is probably my favorite um, because she does an amazing job of, like, filling out herself because she's, like, a really tiny figure, but in the self-portrait, she, like, adds all this weight to herself and this volume, um, which really shows, like, the depth of who she is as an artist. So that's actually my favorite piece. We can die, we can die, baby. The more 